I see the enemy like having his foot on many people's necks, like literally being oppressed. I see him in the spirit like laughing and only because you, we have the power to get up, but we're allowing that oppression. We're allowing, you know, his foot to be on our necks. And we think we're in bondage. We think we can't be used by God. We think, thank you, Holy Spirit, that is our portion. And I come against that. I rebuke that. I bind that. I command you to come out of agreement with that. We think that God can't use us. And this isn't just for marriage. This is for really the full totality of just being used for your kingdom assignments. Many people think that they have to already be healed for the Lord to use you, that you have to already receive restoration, that your spouse has already had to come home, that you've already um, met your God ordained spouse for the first time, that you've already got the job, that you've already started the business. And that's not always the case. God can get the glory out of your story, even as the story, thank you Holy Spirit, is manifesting and unfolding. When God first called me, um, that is when I wrote my first book and I didn't understand how do you want me to write a book about my story, my testimony, and my marriage when my marriage is falling apart? And how can you use me to speak about something when I haven't even, thank you Holy Spirit, seen the fruit and full manifestation of what you can do? The Lord was using me at the time on Facebook to go live, oh my gosh, to tell my story, to minister to others. Then you have me create a women's ministry that I was doing like via Zoom encouraging other women how to stand for their marriage, how to pray for their husband, how to believe God, how to have faith, but I have to step back into my darkness. And I've shared this before on my TikTok. You know, the Lord was using me to be someone's light and be a good steward in that only to come back and step into my own darkness, to be a key to set them free from their prisons only to come back into my own prison. It was hard for me, but he gave me grace for it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I also received healing doing that because it challenged me in ways that disrupted my norm, that made me feel uncomfortable. I don't understand, Lord, how you can use me. I felt like Jeremiah, like I'm too young, or I felt like, um, who was it, Lord? Uh, I felt like Gideon. I'm the least in my tribe. But God does not wait. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for you to be. He does not call the qualified. He qualifies the call. Some of you are still in divine separation. You're believing for marriage restoration. But where you're in error, you're waiting for that man or woman to come home. You're waiting to see some sign of restoration before you, you think that God can use you. That's what I saw in the spirit today, you know, in a vision with the enemy having his foot on many of your necks because you feel like I'm oppressed. Like I can't even go on in life. I can't be productive in life. I can't be fruitful in life because I feel like there's just a weight on me. But you have the power to get up because my God says that he's given you power and authority to uh, walk upon and tread upon scorpions and serpents. So it's like the enemy, thank you Holy Spirit, he's, he's banking on the fact of our spiritual ignorance. He's banking on the fact of us not getting into alignment with who we are, our rightful positions, us as heirs, you know, in Christ. I was able to start this women's ministry at the time where I was pouring into other women and praying with other women and having a, a like a Bible study setting with other women, encouraging them only to know that I was stepping back into my shame, my guilt, my darkness, my, my testing, my fire. And my husband was acting a whole donkey during this time. I remember one time that I was getting ready to go downstairs to my office to, uh, start my calls and that's how how ghetto the enemy is he would use my husband in a way me and my husband will be fine like all day but the moment it was time for me to go pour into other women about that you know that's what ticked the enemy off so he would use my husband in a way where him and I would get into something something stupid or petty right at the last minute before it was time for me to go on these calls the enemy was trying to do this to get me out of position to get me to quit to get me to give up whatever the enemy is saying about you that is not your portion how can God use you now how can you bring him glory now you're still embarrassed about what has gone on or what is still going on. You're still ashamed. You're in your season of shame and reproach. But you, you, it's almost like you feel like, who would want to hear my story when I feel defeated? Who can I encourage when I don't feel encouraged? But can I tell you when the Lord called me to do that, although I felt like I had nothing to pour from, Holy Spirit was filling me up in ways that that also 
uh, encouraged my healing because I was able to speak life into them and speak things into them that encouraged me to know that my time would soon come. It allowed people to see me from a different perspective. How was it that she's coming on here with a smile and she's getting on live with a smile and she's promoting her book, but they had no idea what was really going on behind that smile. Sometimes I felt like a fraud. I really did and I was like, God, how can you use me? You want me to encourage and minister and do all of this while I'm going through this, I feel like a fraud. And God was like, is, this is a, about you. This is all for my glory. I put on my armor before I would get on these calls and get on live and speak about my book or whatever I was doing. I would put on the full armor of God. Holy Spirit, fill my mouth. Holy Spirit, use me. Come out of Egypt. Come out of Lodabar. Some of you, he's already been speaking to your heart about you telling your story. That can be a blog. Some of you, he's dropped in your spirit. I see podcasts for you to start speaking. For those of you who feel like you're camera shy. Some of you, and I'm an introvert, y'all. I used to be a hairstylist 20 plus years. I used to be a Zoom instructor. I never saw my life being a mentor and coach for marriage preparation and marriage restoration and for helping people with their God-ordained assignments and purposes in life. <laughs> my vision board <laughs> didn't look nothing like the Lord's vision board. Some of you, Holy Spirit wants to uh, put you in a position to where it'll make sense as you're doing it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see you're looking for all the pieces to connect. You're looking for everything to make sense. But in your walk, thank you, Holy Spirit. He's reminding me of the 10 lepers. Those are the ones that Jesus said, go show yourselves to the priests. And in their faith, in their obedience, in their action of, you know, the walk of doing what Jesus told them to do, they were healed on the way to the priest. Turning on that camera, you don't know what to talk about, but your your obedience your effort you taking a leap of faith to turn on that camera not knowing what to say that's the moment holy spirit wants to fill your mouth you open it <clears throat> your notepad to start writing that's when holy spirit is going to clear up that writer's block and start giving you the downloads to speak about you're waiting god is saying for who this is for this is not news to you this is confirmation for many of you this is also conviction as you make that effort that's when a download is going to come that's when a provision is going to come thank you holy spirit also when i was in that season when the lord was requiring for me to do that I started getting more strategies for my stand as well. I started getting more insight. I started getting more provision. But it's almost like what I was praying about. God, you know, give me, give me strategies for this. Give me hope for this. Give me a word for this. Give me something for what I'm standing for. Something for my marriage. God would be like, okay, go live on YouTube and encourage someone. What? Jesus, that don't make no sense. How do you have me doing this, but I'm praying to you in this area over here? And the way the Lord was working for me, and he's bringing it back. For some of you, what you're praying for there, and your obedience here, it's going to open up a door over there. Does that make sense? Your answers are being held up in your lack of obedience. You're looking for God to move over here. You're looking for God to speak over here. Because in your obedience over here, it's going to open up doors for you over there. What are you doing in this area? God is like, I ain't even worried about all of that right now. In your obedience in this area, I'll open up a door over there. He will give you grace for what he wants you to talk about. No, this is uncomfortable, but you're also going to get your healing in this. Someone else is going to get their healing and their breakthrough. And Holy Spirit, I'm asking that you convict the hearts of those who this applies to. I'm asking that you stir it up. Make it be like Jeremiah, fire shut up in their bones where they can't contain any longer the word that you place in their mouth, the fire that you place in their belly. I'm asking that you give them a spirit of conviction right now to call them higher, to call them forth, to call them to the the carpet thank you holy spirit to call them to the front lines i see for some of you i see in the spirit he wants to turn the page but you're stuck on this chapter because to you it's still not making sense to you the story is still not complete and the lord is trying to turn the page and i see in the spirit you're fighting for the page to be turned back many times you go see a movie that you first saw the trailer for right so even in a the trailer there's still some plot twist they only show highlights for that trailer the lord has only showed you highlights for your story highlights for your marriage promise highlights for whatever it is he has for you you have to sit through the whole movie to see how this story ends god is like i have more i have more to show you with this story remember when i said when god speaks add a comma there's more he wants to tell you how many of you got up too soon off of what God said and he wasn't finished speaking? The Lord can use you now while that man is out with a counterfeit. He can use you now while your wife is saying she wants a divorce. He can still use you now.